फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी टुडे ऑलरेडी इट्स टू थर्टी नाउ सो आई हैव स्टार्टेड माय वीडियो अराउंड वन ओ क्लॉक वन ए एम नाउ इट इज टू थर्टी ए एम आई एम गोइंग टू फिनिश फ्यू थिंग्स ओवर हियर राइट बाय पर्पस ऑफ फ्यू थिंग्स आर बॉदरिंग मी फॉर दिस रशिया यूक्रेन नॉट कॉन्फ्लिक्ट इट इज लाइक वन साइडेड you call it jabardasti <laughs> is all our democratic country but they are fighting for nothing i talked about few things that this is too bad probably for a democracy right uh, it's it's really bad in neighboring country if you are attacking they are the brothers right a few years back they are the brothers and is a part of very much ussr it is split it is same like india so split it into bangladesh pakistan and india now if you are doing the similar kind of exercise <laughs> with jo no genuine reason there must be some obvious question and uh, the kind of message that uh, what mr putin is giving the nuclear kind of uh, threat to the different countries right and this is too much not listening to nato not listening to UN this is too much to digest probably friends i want to put few bullet points over here before that i want to go back this is kind of a history of science this is my analysis is not based on today what is happening my purpose of telling this is accumulation it's a repetition of history that is what it is happening that is what i want to tell over here i talked about the first world war i told that in 1917 when ragno russia formation of russia or ussr you call it right now it's a federation kind of thing different state together the form of ussr that was a nice gesture probably that has been taken into consideration but after that what had happened right after that when the, like you no know, after lenin you have stalin then stalin he become a kind of a dictator and is a invader also he is also planning to attack very european countries including germany and in germany <coughs> equal strength like one to one right <coughs> hitler was very rich financially so that is had happened up to that level so hitler was creating pressure to america and this second world war and cold war everything getting into this stalin my purpose of telling over here hit the communism right when we talk about the communism i have talked about the individual mind the philosophy they have taken into consideration this communism what is coming from das kapital or karl marx or before that hegel or karl marx has taken many things from hegel so even though he has not recognized it is fine probably i don't have any problem in this matter but i felt that it could have been much better if it is a marx and hegelian marx theory kind of thing so you have ignored your mentor probably that is what i want to convey over here this is a part of history it's like how you are doing little bit interpretation over here i just putting those dots over here and trying to zoom down few things number one the creation of stalin here stalin the wealthiest person in this world that time in 1917 to still 1945 till his death he was the richest man like you no know, he's been recognized in many ways whether it is bad or good i have nobody to tell but i only can this tell this much that this this money power has taken a very kind of a central role and they have used all kind of state machinery right in that time uh, to become stalin as a kind of a larger than life that is what it is stalin so friends uh, after that what had happened right during second world war time i told you the second point i want to make over here here in a society you have the political establishment you have the scientific community you have the intellectual community how the 
like you know the administration of uh, various administration how they use the people in their own way because i told in my many videos that the scientists they are basically the scientists the intelligent minds they are not in favor of any kind of political establishment they are the independent kind of thing but the administration they use them for their benefit that is what the danger thing that is what i was trying to tell about every time i bring albert einstein for many reasons right that there is a reason for that because when albert einstein was treated as a one of the greatest mind in few hundreds years when we analyze i have a different point of view over here friends and i have expressed this concern in many videos but here i want to put over here i do not know whether albert einstein used to follow the communism or not but definitely i can tell you he is very much following buddhism because his his entire theory is e is equal to mc square is getting nobel prize in 1920 2021 again i'm bringing reporting this thing he was this uh, that time he was during second world war time what is happening this world war it was a cold war followed by episode whatever things happened he was in germany very much he was germany he is like you no know, germany and america they are the in opposite direction right so they have taken albert einstein to princeton university for the reason that because of a life threat perception was there because there are so many jews are been killed in germany right no millions of jews are has been killed in germany by hitler nazi and that is one of the fear that is a great minds like albert einstein should not fall into that trap that is what the whole idea it's a good idea but uh, when uh, albert einstein was taken into america princeton university but american has not got that much sympathy to the other jews right <laughs> that is also true so they could have taken the millions of jews into their country right they have picked up a very nice apple over here very nice apple sweetie apple has got the formula of making that on bomb that is e is equal to mc square because americans minds they are again they are very clever they are again the british right i told you that the most of them are british like if you analyze the american civilization is nothing but people migrated from different places and they made america great and beautiful that is known to everybody their democracy everything there are many africans africans abraham lincoln to borak obama if you analyze everything their origin you know it well how this america is america today i told many times that many great minds from india that has been exported like no iit and all those things i told many times those video i am not repeating those things again because my concern is something different over here it's very selective kind of things what is going on for last 100 years each country they have their own plan own vested interest they have to to nurture their economy or prosper their economy they do all kind of exercise that is what i want to tell over here in this case america is very much ahead in terms of fulfilling their criteria now friends what i was trying to tell about albert einstein over is taken over by princeton university can you imagine something second world war it is like no initiation going on here and there cold war is going on and it's not stopping no no one fine morning probably or evening albert einstein is uh, is writing to american president there is a need of nuclear bomb can you imagine albert einstein was a refugee right in america today if i go to america or germany or switzerland for that matter any country can i afford to have access to any president or prime minister of that particular country no i don't think so probably uh, this is not possible uh, the remote possibilities are there if there is a backdoor talk and i am 100% sure there is a backdoor talk between the 
<coughs> American administration with Albert Einstein because they knew he has gotten formula for making atom bomb. See, they have used Albert Einstein, probably Albert Einstein might have a lot of compulsions. I told in my many videos that what could be those compulsions, it is known to everybody, right? Uh, there could be a threat perception also, right? If you are not doing it, like in China, that symptoms are very much there in COVID. The scientist and identity has been like, no, it's not known. There are many scientists are missing over here. Look here, everybody wants to survive in this world, whatever intellectual capabilities you have. You cannot like, no, go beyond certain limit, right? Here, Albert Einstein, I feel it is indirectly, it's a pressure him to write to American administration. Then there is a need of atom bomb because American administration directly doesn't want to come forward and say this thing that there is a need of atom bomb because they have used Albert Einstein for that matter. Now the question is over here. When 1934 your Manhattan Project started, what, what had happened exactly? Manhattan Project project director was who? Manhattan Project started and the project director was Oppenheimer. Dr. Oppenheimer is a physicist, right? There are close to, it is told that close to 1 lakh or 1.5 lakh scientists, technical, non-technical person, they join the Manhattan Project and Richard Feynman, another physicist is one of them and Albert Einstein on top of his formula. Now, here, when I read the history part, it has been told that nobody knows what is happening in like, you no. Know, what is happening exactly in this Manhattan Project. What scientists are doing, nobody knows. And finally, they are making atom bomb and charging. 1945, 6 August, Oppenheimer is like, no reading Bhagavad Gita. And his eyes is full of tears. And he's reading Bhagavad Gita. He's writing, bloods in my hands, right? That is what it is statement, right? No, Bhagavad Gita. Oppenheimer is reading Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> that is quite surprising. It will surprise many Indians, many communist people or the other religion people. This is a part of history of science. It is written. One can check each and every word what I am speaking. I am not speaking from my mind. Okay, many things I am doing little bit interpretation. Now, to justify that, today in India, like a scientist here, many scientists, thousands of scientists are there. I told in my previous video, can anybody write to the present government, whoever the Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, that look, I have a kind of a biopesticide which can kill the, the people who are not following or the following uh, the dharam or the, the political ideology like BJP. So can they write? It is the same way. It is not possible to write. I told, I've been struggling, even though I have technologies, I've been writing to Prime Minister of India that I have 12 technologies. He has inaugurated my project in Hyderabad, three of my technologies. I do not have access to Narendra Modi. He might not be knowing all those things. I'm telling because I am not an like no ordinary person sitting at night time, 2.30, I am speaking, right? I'm speaking with clarity. Because when you promote the technology, obviously any, any person in this world definitely want to highlight the thing one is having that has been reaching to the highest level of, level of this particular country. Here in this case, probably the Prime Minister office, the President of India for that matter, those kind of thing. Previously also two of my technologies, right, that is inaugurated by none other than Dr. Abdul Kalam. Okay, he came for the purpose, for various purpose. And one of the agenda was to inaugurate uh, my climate change research that has been organized from the institute side. It's a CSR research institute. Another thing is also Dr. 
Pranab Mukherjee, the another president of India who was planning, who visited IRI, Indian Agriculture Research Institute, there is a plan for inauguration. So when it is the part of the protocol, right, okay, it had not happened, that is a different thing altogether for many reasons. It could, finally, you could not reach to that destination, but Mr. Narendra Modi was very much there in Iktisat, Hyderabad, he has inaugurated my project. Four of my technologies, right, he has inaugurated and which we have developed in my company, Genesis Technology, from 2009 to 2022. How many years, right? Ten, close to 13 years after 13 years, Prime Minister of India is inaugurated. It's a really proud moment for me or it's a proud moment for India that some attentions are going on the environmental <laughs> research, climate research, many other aspects that is taken into consideration. That is a good thing. Friends, what I was trying to tell over here is this. Albert Einstein was totally full and brainwashed. That is what I can tell you. When they, they watched the entire episode of Hiroshima, Nagasaki in 1945-6 August, it has been kind of charged by those things. They are not very happy. And that is very much prominent in when 1949-50 year Nuclear Energy Commission established in US and they had a further plan to develop hydrogen bomb. When they invited Oppenheimer, he was rejected. You know, he straight away told no to that, sorry to that. And after that, even Albert Einstein was silent, sidelined and uh, Oppenheimer was sidelined. Dr. Oppenheimer has not got the Nobel Prize, one must remember. Richard Feynman has got the Nobel Prize. He is also, he was working under Oppenheimer. 1962 or 60-62, he was getting Nobel Prize. Richard Feynman, he is a great physicist and a musician, composer, many things, right? I don't have any problem for that matter. But what a limited point I want to tell over here now that in history, how you rate or how you analyze Albert Einstein over here. He is a destroyer, he is a mass murderer, what? If you take the humanity part into mind, when 76, people, 76 million people died, that is the official record, so one can check it during Second World War. Whose formula has been used? Albert Einstein. Now, his letter is there in the public domain. Now, how, what? Is there any doubt to say that he's a mass murderer? I don't see anything. Till it has been, he's been recognized one of the greatest mind. I think he's been fooled by the American administration that his realization and his later stage of life when he's uttering that he's searching some pebbles here and there at his very later stage of his life. He has realized that probably he did a mistake, maybe for many reasons it could be a lot of pressure that is there in the people who are sitting in a high position like you no know, sometime people force them to write many things that becomes a document but nobody knows what is happening in back channel right those meetings have not been recorded those are not in public domain that is what it is why i want to tell over here it's a very sad story the it's not people might be thinking that bringing i albert einstein any individual on formula can change the dynamics of any civilization. That is what I want to tell over here. So, because of water, your Harappa Mohanjadaro civilization, there is no water. It is switched over many times. Similar way, you science, you see it. Many times it had happened that any decision for a particular time whether it is taken in the right speed or wrong speed, those decisions can change the dynamics of many things. Same thing critically, I was thinking that Albert Einstein, if he could not have written to American president, probably we could have avoided Second World War, this 1945, 6 August episode, probably. Similar, I was thinking the same thing in my interpretation that 1933-34 Tipuri Congress, if Subhash Chandra Bose elected, then he was thrown out indirectly or directly, whichever mode. 
if Mahatma Gandhi could have supported him or the Indian National Congress could have supported Shubhash Chandra Bhut, probably we could have seen the independent, like you no know, one unified India. For that matter, I am so much sure that the dynamics could have changed because the vision of Subhash Chandra Bhut was totally, totally different. He was thinking many of the freedom fighters was thinking for the unified India, but because of his elimination, because he is going, getting out from India, getting out from the National Congress, and the kind of leader he was right that time, even, even Jawaharlal Nehru, he has not been participated for fighting against Subhash Chandra Bose. And Mahatma Gandhi has to give a proxy by name Pattobi Sita Ramaya. Subhash Bose is defeating him, right? Jawaharlal Nehru is refusing, <laughs> right? Present day, Rahul Gandhi and all, they are not able to hold whatever the Indian National Congress. I even don't say those are Indian National Congress because it is against the wisdom of Mahatma Gandhi told that if once, once we get the freedom, this will be dissolved. But continue, this Congress fellow present day, I told that the pseudo Congress is the reason behind it. They are not following Mahatma Gandhi, nor following anybody for that matter, not Jawaharlal Nehru. So, they are telling the Indian National Congress, this Sashi Tarut, so much literate, so much intellectually, like, no, so much intellectualism, they do it, but this is the simple part of history, probably they don't analyze. I know they know everything, but they want to keep the legacy that this 1880-85 that Congress has established by something. It is not... No founder member of Gandhi family was there or Nehru family was there in 1885. Can any, any Congress tell that some Nehru family member, even Mahatma Gandhi was also not there? Friends, what I was trying to tell over here, the Indian National Congress that time formation is nothing but a platform that anybody can join and fight against British. That is what the whole idea and this is an open platform anybody any direction, maybe afterwards the ideological fight that is taken, that violence, non-violence, that is 1915, Mahatma Gandhi was missing, he was not there, he was in South Africa, he used to come here and there, he used to take a lot of Indian people to South Africa, he went for a lawsuit, that is known to everybody, he is officially coming with Kosturba Gandhi from where? from South Africa via Mumbai, via C, that is 1913-14-15, if I am not wrong. Tagore is getting Nobel Prize in 1913 after that. How many? If I consider 1885, 15 years there and here close to 15 years, is coming after almost 30 years of establishment of Indian National Congress. Before that, he was in London, he was studying. Okay, law, no problem. Nehru also went for studying, absolutely no issues at all. But they are the late comers, right? Before that, Tilak was there, many people they are fighting. You know, the history, these 30 years, there are very, very, very big brains that went on to informing, right? No, Indian National Congress, that is for sure. And a lot of Bengali mines, even Tagore families, uh, like, no, there are many personalities joined, like, no, Alan Octobium, Hume, Surendra Nath, uh, many personalities, there is a close to 60, 70 members they have formed this Indian National Congress when Mahatma Gandhi was not there. Friends, those are bitter stories, these Gandhi families trying to tell everybody that, that this Congress belongs to them. There is no way, no way it is. Even imagine Jawaharlal Nehru, 1933, he is refusing to fight against Subhash Chandra Bose or fight for the election. Mahatma Gandhi putting a proxy. Here, how much Mayabad can you tell me in that time? So Mahatma Gandhi is giving surname to, his surname to Indra Gandhi and... Uh, his husband, right? So, Parsi, Muslim, like, 
you know that is known to everybody i am not naming i am not feeling to name also <coughs> i told in my video that he is finding it a kind of a marriage guru where he are he is a leader in his capacity those kind of activities he was doing i felt he is a victim of mayabad or he has taken the mayabad and just to promote gandhi and family nehruian family that is for sure i told many times that this is a kind of a indian freedom movement it's basically orchestrated it was going nicely till 1885 to 1913 14 when the entry of mahatma gandhi entry of jawaharlal nehru that time jawaharlal nehru was in also in allahabad gandhi is not knowing each other it is their meeting probably in 1913 14 15 their meeting and those things are coming forward here friends what i am trying to tell over here is very important thing that they are entry after that because they are all from london return so i told in many times over here that it is the british creation i want to make it very cut short because many videos i otherwise this video will be very long 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 and there will be a lot of jargon <laughs> i want to conclude this way right now it was known it was right you, you are making something like in london they are studying for both gandhi and jawaharlal nehru they are coming back they are going to south africa jawaharlal nehru was very much there in india in allahabad doing some law practice here and there so south africa journey i have told you i want to make few few points over here many people talk about south africa Mahatma Bhagadi went for fighting like you no know, against the black and this is nothing like that i am talking referring the documented thing from nobel foundation now it is been finding out i am referring if i i say people won't believe it i am referring their name one can check out by a google search they can dig out lot of document those documents said he went to south africa he has only fighting the indians not the african fellow and uh, he also took close to 3 400 indians to durban via sea there is a fight and there are lot of things with the original ethnic people over there the african people they fought so it is obviously it is known that for purpose of fighting right because the, this time also south africa under british rule and mahatma gandhi is taking i do not know the purpose of taking those indians definitely it is known that for job purpose kind of a skill labor worker job like that in present day in india like you no know, many countries like you no know, if you are settled in any place you try to bring your own people that kind of philosophy you have mahatma gandhi also trying to do something maybe i don't know whether he got some commissions or or not i really don't know i do not have any body but i can think of this documentation prop alfred nobel foundation otherwise mahatma gandhi broken his hand also over there like you no know, so much he had gone for a lawsuit case for a ship that is stuck in durban or pretoria wherever it might be an indian private company sending him for a lawsuit because the money is was on hold that is what the whole idea so he is gone on kind of a 2 3 4 5 months kind of a program but he stayed back and everybody knows that this is the one of the greatest thing that is written in biography that he is thrown out from the train because he is black i told i suspect mohan bagan this those kind of biography without supporting i only say that without supporting any evidence those biography that mahatma gandhi was thrown out i don't believe it because as a rational thinker when i mathematically analyze or critically analyze or dialectically analyze all those things i don't believe this thing this much i can tell you today if you do a small research to justify your publication you have to provide all kind of photographs date time everything or any kind of research experiment or what kind of methodology you have used what kind of instrument you use all data has to be provided but mahatma gandhi 
he went to south africa he never knew that one day you will be mahatma and you will be fighting for the nation he doesn't have he has gone for a salaried person that's all nobody knows right he doesn't know also after 30 40 years he is writing his biography and referring this kind of south african story probably one can put a question mark and i am also putting a question mark nothing wrong in putting question mark that can give you one more dimension probably to think over it i have analyzed also i have told in 1920 because i have tried to counter this part with an another evidence right okay you was following the non violence movement fair enough no problem non violence is a good thing but non violence is a good thing where you need to see that any any philosophy doesn't work in vacuum right if a snake is biting you and you say this is i am a non violence you talk spiritually in front of snake right then what is this philosophy is all about your survival will be questioned right same thing i talk many times people say that mahatma gandhi is a kind of a non violence this is a philosophy probably but this philosophy without time without space or without the background those philosophy has got no meaning i told in to counter that i told many times that mahatma gandhi jawahar lal nehru are in in kind of a an understanding that the fate what is going to happen that's why they are they have been treated in a very nice way every time their treatment is totally totally different from the violent fellow the violent fellow are like you no know, fighting 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 there are many things that happen that uh, that history is known to everybody i am highlighting this 1933 34 every time i come this is a turning point of the game of indian freedom struggle that could have been taken a kind of a winning streak to for unified india that is what i was trying to tell over here because in second world war time it's a basically kind of a chaos thing like no country knows what is happening because india there are a lot of indians they are also participating because under british raj for the second world war those histories are known to everybody my purpose of not telling about the history i'm just putting and correlating here mahatma gandhi could have been played a better role and 1924 25 i told this time magazine when nehru when mahatma gandhi is going to london with this kind of for meeting this british raj the top heads over there so he is taking a ship with lot of goods are going along with him because he doesn't like he doesn't like to drink cow's milk because of dharm or religion many things are attached associated it is his principle and kosturba gandhi is trying to feed him like no goat milk in advice from the doctors okay so those are things part of history my simple point over here is in london this charka is this picture is taken in london city and uh, the day it was happening the journalist from time magazine cameraman everybody was present he was given a bath and those pictures photographer available then uh, he was uh, given a kind of a charka and uh, barefooted he has taken those photographs and uh, dress also the lower person part dress is also not proper and next day there is a big news that that is by the british prime minister that time writing right now in article in time magazine that is the half naked man right now the question i told many issues i have raised that if mahatma gandhi has not raised a single voice when the media or their country's uh, prime minister is telling that half naked man then mahatma gandhi could have used some word same thing like sasi tharoor is going to london and speaking against this 3 400 years british raj and whatever they have taken it is accepted he is thinking that 
it is the old generation or their the back it is not the fault of the present british it is the karma of theirs my point you when you are doing the intellectual satisfaction sashi tarur you could have uttered that now you can physically see those things at least you could have given a kind of a letter for returning those things okay whether this is physically possible or not that is a separate thing but where is the problem not speaking friends what i was trying to tell in second world war those all the things has happened after that 1947 we got the freedom and jawahar lal nehru become the prime minister of india mohammad ali jinnah 14 august he become the prime minister of pakistan that is known to everybody indian constitution formation everything baba sah ambedkar came into the picture dr rajendra prasad fine fine there is no problem but here there are two important thing over here so every year the congress fellow was sending the nobel foundation peace prize for mahatma gandhi five times five times not one time twice thrice four fifth times so <clears throat> almost from starting from 1934 till his death the applications was going finally nathuram got says stopped his nomination and lot of congress is feeling bad that they have lost a nobel prize for that matter so <laughs> nathuram got say whether he has done the great job or bad job i have nobody to speak today <laughs> because i have already spoken uh, this part well i have analyzed it only the point is right uh, if you die you don't get the nobel prize right no whatever things you are going to achieve as long as you are alive for the nobel prize but finally mahatma gandhi has not got nobel prize after applying five times for the peace prize only well whether he does deserve peace prize or not i am again nobody to tell but i only sub my submission when freedom movements are going on there are many people are been hanged many things had been done many thing has been destroyed he could have simply told and uttered a single he has not uttered a single word when khudiram bosh was hanged mahatma gandhi could have made an appeal to british government that he is a small kid a fellow a indian they are all fighting for this gentleman can go to london with all bokris and all he could have taken photograph all those things his munnon picture everything was there and he was told that you are the half naked man he has not done a protest now if i go back the same south africa train how do i justify myself today that mahatma gandhi really has been thrown out from the rail if he has got so much compromising attitude towards everything if somebody is abusing also he is accepting my my little submission over here is very very simple here look uh, i told this non violence is a kind of a philosophy you need to see in a time or particular situation there is nothing called violence and non violence over here everybody is very peaceful even subhash bosh is also very calm and quiet boy people might be thinking is a violent fellow is a thorough gentleman in indian national congress subhash chandra bosh highly qualified person is ics cleared he has refused can anybody today can refuse like no any lucrative job and come forward do something for the nation that is that is that is tremendous but what mahatma gandhi jawahar lal nehru has done that is everybody knows they have gone to their respective field for study purpose sponsored by their family members right there is nothing wrong in it but my limited point over here is i told again i am repeating we could have got the unified india if subhas bos was very much in india the same indians they have not supported subhas chandra bos right and that made him to go get out from the system he went to germany through russian <coughs> silky route fine there is no problem in this case also my limited point over here here jawahar lal nehru is coming to the picture 
without any kind of credentials over here this much i can tell you that time there are a lot of competent people who is there one of them is your dr rajendra prasad and uh, Sardar Ballabhai Patel and uh, many other personalities over there. I am not recalling all those names. Those are the things because those people are involved with many activities. They got the position also. There is no problem. My problem is Shiar, Jawaharlal Nehru, whether he deserved Prime Minister position or not, because he has got a lot of blessings from Mahatma Gandhi. I told it is the creation, this partition of India, it is totally calculated, orchestrated thing. That is what, in my opinion, like in a film, when to my smile, when not to smile, when to dance, everything has been like, you no know, design. That is seen in 1924-5 when this thing had happened to London. He's moving around the London, everybody is meeting the family members of Lord Mountbatten for that matter. <laughs> now can you imagine, in one way the violent people, fellow are fighting and this fellow is enjoying in London city. And he's also accepting the abuse without any kind of voice. This Mahatma Gandhi is not a voiceless person. Okay, he might be feeling the non-violence part. But if somebody is writing against an individual leader, he could have uttered a single word. He has not uttered a single word. I have not. I have gone through not once, twice, thrice, four times, fifteen, ten times. I was trying to find out that what could be his reaction that I have not got it. If anybody is getting his reaction, probably somebody can send it to me. I will be happy to go through this for my understanding. Friends, this much I can tell you our freedom whatever we got it it is like you no know, this freedom at the midnight one can read like you no know, dummy glafier freedom at the midnight those books are very critical books okay it's a fiction novel but <coughs> the content is very nice that is what it is so our indian freedom movement is over that time i want to tell you here in china china mao shetung party is coming russia also is, is going like right? no Stalin is dying in between like right? no 1950-51. After that Russia is also progressing. Uh, they're doing well. The many like you no know, I want to conclude is Russia till 1985 till Gorbachev. Many many Russian president they came. There are some semi kind of dictators. Some are good. Some are bad. They went. But one few things are very common in Russia or whole Europe. They are very kind of authoritarian, the leaders here. Even in Germany, you have seen like, you no know, Hitler, Stalin, I told, they have their individual mind. They are very powerful in manipulating things or accumulating things, whichever way you see it. Same way your present Putin, people talk about he is a is 68 billion dollars, some are telling 150, some are telling 400, 500 billion dollars. Sometimes I feel maybe entire Russia belongs to him. <laughs> I don't know <coughs> because I have never gone to Russia, but I have gone to Europe. But I have never, he is not my friend that I should talk to him how much money you have. Only the media report probably whatever things are coming. Friends, what I was trying to tell here, there are a few things over here. Your China also is getting like, you no, know, your Mao Zedong, Chinese freedom movement, many things, right? The story of Mao Zedong, how he's coming from a humble background and trying to build China, that is what it is, because before that China is under also monarchism, right? So, you know all those things people like many many kings are there in china and now what what is happening where in this china is getting freedom maybe in 1950 we got in 47 they are getting on 50. the dates are not known how that does it matter that you should know the dates okay here 1950 maybe 
that time china is getting freedom mao shetung is coming new economic policies sparrow killing policy that sparrow are eating too much so kill millions of sparrow over there and there is artificially because in biological system any organism if you are killing uh, right there will be ecological imbalance your food chain and they are not thinking this communist they are not mao shetung is not very qualified one i believe right so he has not used his science right to use the food chain right few millions of birds they have killed sparrows but it accumulates their problem but gradually china could have sorted out their all issues after 1980s china become today super power through present president of india thank you very much no issue at all but only issue is over here jawaharlal nehru in india like you no know, i talked about indian freedom movement how it is taken place over here here in indian freedom movement if you say it is all gandhi nehru family all the awards good good thing they have taken it they have sideline baba saheb ambedkar after presentation of indian constitution dr rajendra prasad nobody has got their duty even sardar ballabhai patel okay he, they they nothing has been given right for the for the government for the matter for Uh, any recognition to those leaders not been uh, given except this jawaharlal 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 pandit 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 this pandit applied i told many videos 13 times he is applying for the nobel prize living 1947 because we got freedom 1947 when we got the freedom we got the freedom 1947 15 august Okay, I was forgetting. I had a music system. This music is going to help me. I really think. So he has left only this 1947, 15 August. After that, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. Maybe some gaps here and there. Maybe some gaps here and there. but he has applied every year i can imagine how his cabinet is calling every year before four months back nomination like you no know, changing the dates putting some kind of bio data and sending it for <coughs> nobel foundation those are not my awards friends don't blame me those are all alfred nobel foundation 13 times he has got so much time to get the peace prize 13 times applying people get tired even a beggar also begging 13 houses right nobody is giving him money or her money you lust he will rather feel to sleep with empty stomach or little water rather than further begging he probably change his begging profession that is what but our political leaders they don't forget there's so much crazy to get the nobel prize that is what it bothers me i have not seen a single application from the others okay few here and there dr radha krishnan probably has applied once and uh, dr rajendra prasad i don't think so any nomination has got from his side vallabhbhai patel no 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 <laughs> no he has not got the, that part rishi aurobindo well his nomination was sent i do not know government of india recommended or not but i only can this tell this much when rishi aurobind was dying in the year 1951 52 i believe maybe little ahead uh, 54 rishi aurobind then jawaharlal nehru is just uttering a single like no sentence condolence message that one sannyasi is dying something like that that is too much to digest probably because i know rishi aurobindo is such a powerful mind i told in my videos that rishi aurobindo is more intelligent subhash chandra bose swami vivekananda but nehru is telling one sannyasi died right okay no problem jawaharlal nehru no problem it is it is known to everybody after that you know the indira gandhi is coming to power 
all those things are known and 1969 what is coming economic science nobel prize and this is, is, a, is a memorial prize started this is against the wish of alfred nobel it's a jabardosti prize that has been imposed and who has financed it is all american money that has been pumped into sweden and given created this position the point what i want to make because i have taken many videos in this context because i don't like to increase over here what i want to tell over here the economic science nobel prize out of 85 or 90 nobel prize winner 80 percent are from america so no country has got any wisdom or knowledge and understanding on writing the economic theory that is quite surprising. I question Amartya Sen and Dr. Obijit for their, their theories for what they got the Nobel Prize. I told that those are very wrong theories, shallow theory, not understanding the society well, societal problems well. Those theories are absolutely, absolutely no relevance. One can refer my video because I'm not getting into this, but I only have few submission I told. Dr. Obijit's J. Paul Lop Foundation is a pure fraud, right? I can tell you this much because there are marketing executives that have been recruited by J. Paul Lab Foundation to bring business from different industry house. I have questioned Dr. Obijit long back because you are the founder member. The main objective of J. Paul Lab Foundation, if you want to do it, you should not have this marketing or sales guys to do all kind of exercise. Same thing is the Amartya Sen, what many, how many things I want to speak on Amartya Sen, his entire theory, his Bengal feminine theory, his crocodile teacher, tears and everything, it is known to everybody, but I don't like to get into that part. It is now, my voice is a little bit choking, I need to have a little water probably. Now it is drying up, this, this thing, so... Friends, what I was trying to tell over here, few important things that Nehru and Gandhi family, right? No, family has got a lot of things from India. The entire India is in their names and all. Now they're struggling. They're struggling like anything that is known. But what had happened in 1974, the interesting part I want to tell over here is the turning point. Your Pokhran, Pokhran 1, your first nuclear test is being conducted by Indian government that they have the atomic energy in the form of a bomb they have charged in Pokhran. This is a test conducted, right? The establishment of Atomic Energy Commission, like you know, here in India, is very interesting one. Soon after that, the many years, the America, they have tried to block uh, Indian uranium research and everything, right? They have put a sanction on India for more than 20, 25 years. Friends, those are the stories because I am bringing America the superpower. After Second World War, if anybody has got, got the benefit of the advantage of Second World War is the American administration because they went on hydrogen bomb project from uranium and uh, they have the technology, many things they have promoted through this path. Even 1964, you have the mask, N95 mask was Pollution Control Board was established. Across the globe, you have Pollution Control Board licensing many things, right? Even the carbon tax also, present day. This has been done and uh, friends, what I was trying to tell over here, I am just brushing up few few things over here, maybe a serious, serious historian might not like it because I'm not putting very specific date and timing. I'm trying to analyze kind of in philosophy that time what Gandhi and or Nehru and family was there. That is the thing because they are the very big leaders. So one need to respect that part. They're the leaders and whichever, whichever capacity they have. 
reach that level that one can question because this is a past thing we are analyzing. The, the necessity of analyzing the past is for that matter because you don't do mistakes in future. That is what it is. But we human beings are very clever and smart. We do always the ultra thing. That Pokhran, I told you, 1974 and the smiling buddha if everybody knows that the name was given in smiling buddha so friends i am now coming back to few things that we i told you that entire europe because of marxian philosophy they are used to believe the kind of in philosophy which is not exactly echoing that People are making like you no know, more richer and all all those readers and this nuclear weapon business. Even though they are communist, but they are taking at home that is too much to digest because there are many things that is what is happening exactly after 1974. Then. Who is coming to the picture? That time there are a lot of turbulence, like, you no, know, you have emergency in India and globally also there are many things. This communism is taking in a different shape altogether. In India, also we had a communism. I told our communism is a kind of a different thing. Subhidavadi communism, whatever you say it, it is not proper. So here, what I'm trying to tell over here, uh, this emergency time, Pokhran was desperate to conduct this nuclear uh, test, followed after kind of uh, India is undergoing sanctioned, no uranium research activities. It went up to like, you no know, many prime minister, they came and for a short term, long term, it is 1994. Five or uh, two thousand when Mr. Atul Bihari Bajpai sir is elected twice, thrice is very short term, right? Followed by Narendra Modi ji, this is his uh, second term, he is fulfilling, right? Ten years after that, no one knows, only only thing good karma is going to tell you, my friend. Uh, what I am trying to tell over here, here. It's very interesting thing. I want to conclude the Indian history right here. I want to take up the part of this Putin and this conflict, what is going on in Ukraine, like, you know, the threat perception. I will explain to you after a few minutes. I want to conclude by this Indian freedom movement part. After that, Bajpayee ji came, tries, then again followed by manmohan singh the silent uh, pm of india that is told by not by me one can refer very good ias officer who are who worked with prime minister office i'm not nobody i only can say we could have done better job like over here by using mahatma gandhi for that matter the philosophy if we could have taken I do not have anything against Mahatma Gandhi, but I could see that his philosophy has been utilized for benefiting certain set of people. That is too bad. Those leaders to be kept little separately without any politics for that matter. That is what my request. But nobody listens to you, right? Nobody has got time to listen. Probably it's fine. Fair enough. Since I'm doing my intellectual exercise. Till everything was nice after Bajpayee, then Manmohan Singh followed by Mr. Narendra Modi's second terms is going on. Things are going very nicely and smoothly. I wish this country, if we have to like, look forward, right now, we should point out where we are going wrong, how to rectify those problems, not get into Mayabadi kind of concept. Let us separate out those pictures, what we have based on those pictures and evidences we can draw certain line and uh, mr narendra modi sir is doing absolutely absolutely fantastic i have a lot of regards for him hope 
he carry forward his, his idea and understanding to make a beautiful India. That is what my wish and desire. In my next episode, next presentation, I am planning to talk about how this world is heading towards many issues, many things, and this corona on top of that, what is making havoc to global way, how expensive it would be if we really enter into a kind of a you know, war, that is what I want to say. War is not the solution, that is what I want to tell over here. We should stop this war business, all kind of weapon business, we should stop it. We should concentrate on factory, we should concentrate on agriculture, we should concentrate on various other activities like healthcare system globally. This much money can be pumped into those kind of activities. But who is going to listen to all those things, that is my question. For that matter, your UN is there, NATO is there, they can take care, they can call. There are many provisions are there. I, my only worry is like, no, if uh, Putin can give a threat for nothing to Ukraine, then he can give the threat to the whole world. The reason is very simple, like, no, in Russia, that they are the maximum nuclear arsenal is there with Russia. I can take, I have a small statistical data. I don't like to miss this data, probably that's why I have those data. If I talk about in, in, in Russia, you have 6,979, 6,000, sorry, it is 5,977 were heads. USA it is 5,550, right? Till how much difference right now if you see the difference between Russia and America is like you no know, 400 close to 400 some odd numbers these are official document it is available in internet China 350 compared to China and Russia it is Russia 5,997, US is 5,550, China is only 350. Never mind, 350 only, right? The se second one is, right, France is close to 390, right? You have Pakistan 165, India only 150. 15 sort. Okay, no problem because we are the country of Buddha, country of whom? Swami Vivekananda, Sarada Muni, all those people, good, good people, right? Then Pakistan is having more, right? Israel, 90, even it is less than Pakistan. Then you have uh, Germany, France, France is 390. The UK, UK is 225, this is all uh, like, no, those are data I gave you because to understand that, can you imagine if you total it up over here, 4,000 plus 4,000, 10,000 and another 3,000, right? Total in my calculation, it is close to 1,300 nuclear bomb is floating in this mother earth. Can you imagine what is going to happen like no anything, any triggering factor like Putin, like I told. This madness has got limit, I told many times this fellow was preparing for many years his wealth and everything. In Russia, there is absolutely no democracy over there. It's again one man so managing everything at his own hand. I do not know how many years he is going to continue. Uh, Mr. Putin probably he should exercise his knowledge and wisdom. He should relax. And what is the advantage and benefit like to beating Ukraine? He is your brother, right? You should go with Mithai Kadabba. I request Mr. Putin should go to Ukraine or give him a message that sending Mithaika Dabba. So like 
whenever Obijit come or Mortensen comes in Bengal or JNU, we give Mithai Kadabba, same thing Putin can give the president of Ukraine, Mithai Kadabba, his brother, nothing wrong in it. Friends, I don't like to increase this video again and again. I know I want to conclude saying that how Putin also part of the jars, uh, not part of the jar system. It is like, you know, it's coming from KGB and all those things. From a very poor and humble family, you should know that if somebody is living in the house, if you are coming and uh, you need to do a little bit finishing job like cleaning or putting in new paint, everything that is known to everybody. But Friends, my limited point is Mr. Putin has accumulated so much wealth. His entire Russia, I sometimes feel it belongs to Mr. Putin. So how communism can suddenly transfer into dictatorship, that is what I want to understand, but I do not have any answer. I have one answer that stating that only thing is there. Each mind is very, very different. You can be destructive, you can be constructive over here. There where your exact role is coming into the picture, right? One has to be very clear, right, before trying to publish some video.